video aims to give a brief documentation of the Poblacion ni Washington Aklan. In this video, you will witness places, sceneries, and even the popular tourist destinations that represent the town and even Aklan. New Washington is a municipality in the province of Aklan in the Philippines, particularly known for being the native town of the late Cardinal Haimasin, former Archbishop of Manila. Established on January 15, 1904, the municipality was named after the first president of the United States, George Washington. The municipality was formerly called Fonda Lagatik, which was derived from the Lagatik River that stretches along some of the municipality's barangay. New Washington is bounded by the municipality of Batan in the east, Calibo in the west, and Cebuyan Sea on the north. New Washington is approximately 10 minutes away from the Calibo International Airport, 15 minutes away from the province capital town of Calibo, and one and a half hours away from the Boracay Island. And is politically subdivided into 16 barangays as follows. Candelaria, Kawayan, Dumagit, Fatima, Ginbaliwan, Halas, Hugas, Lawaan, Mabilo, Matapaw, Ulchando, Pinamukan, Poblacion, Polo, Puis, and Tambak. To some locals, the barangays are grouped into two, namely Ganas and Baybay. As New Washington is surrounded by bodies of water such as Cebuyan Sea and Lagatik River, fishing has been the leading livelihood among the people, alongside rice farming. In connection with the latter, New Washington has the largest area of rice fields among the municipalities in Aklan. The municipality operates two ports, one in Dumaguit and the other in Poblacion. The port in Dumaguit caters to passengers and commercial boats, while the port in Poblacion is only for the latter. Both ports serve as major trade routes between the province of Aklan and Manila. Through the years, the town has proven to be the promising spot for tourism, what with edifices that have either historical or spiritual significance and locations that can be categorized as havens for the leisure and relaxation. Examples include the NHI recognized commemorative monument of Jaime Cardinal Scene and the Shrine of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary in Poblacion, the Pink Sisters Convent in Polo, the Sunrise or the Sunset Pew Wing at Tambak, Seawall, and the Sampaguita Gardens Resort. All the barangays have either an elementary or primary school. There are four secondary schools, namely New Washington National Comprehensive High School and Montfort Technical Institute or the MTI in Poblacion, Candelaria National High School in Candelaria, and Ochando National High School in Ochando. The municipality has an abundance of beach resorts located near the shores from Mabilo to Dumaguit. The past decade saw an influx of inland resorts, which became a hit among Aklanon tourists. The inland resorts in the town are mostly in Poblacion, examples of which are Sampaguita Gardens Resort, Maria Mercedes Resort, and Frog's Hollow Resort. For free means of leisure and entertainment, residents go to the town plaza which houses the Jaime Cardinal Elsin Park, the Rizal Park, the Municipal Children's Park, and the Municipal Auditorium and Sports Complex. The Lagatik River Cruise in New Washington Town is the next waterway ecotourism destination. The river cruise, which traverses the Lagatik River and several barangays in New Washington, was developed by the Dumaguit Batan Ferries Corporation. Part of the cruise experience was the exploration of the Isla Kapispisan Mangrove Park and Fish Sanctuary. The Mangrove Reforestation and Ecotourism Site was developed by the Municipal Government of New Washington and the Aklan State University's College of Fisheries and Marine Sciences. Cruising tourists could also enjoy the green mangrove trees, fish and marine sanctuary, and fishing boats docking at the river bank. Complementing the cruise is the Yard Grill and Seafood Restaurant, popularly known as the Yard on the McKinley Road in Barangay Pulo. 
By this documentary, we have gathered bits and pieces of information that will be beneficial not only to the tourists, but also to the locals. New Washington is a bountiful town that needs to be enhanced and preserved because it could contribute a lot in terms of its shoreline view and aquaculture and fishing.